Hi there guys. Uh, what I wanted to show you today is how to refill my no hole cell. As I showed you before, it's got a manifold right here uh, that attaches to each and every one of the cells and they're individually sealed. So, uh, this is a bubbler I put right here. This is a, just a big syringe and it actually has grating so it's really easy to, to see how much water you have in there. So, what happens is when you use the cell, the water gets warm and the gas expands and uh, some of it comes through here and into the first bubbler. Uh, when you turn off the cell, as the temperature decreases and the, the gases despand, it's going to pull water back in. But even though uh, there's going to come a time that you, you are not going to have enough water inside the cell. So I'm going to show you how to very easily, the, the method that I came up with, to very easily refill the cell. So here's what I do. Um, I'm currently running one amp, so this is not really the normal gas production. But anyway, I'm going to turn it off. There we go. It's turned off. No gas coming out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these caps. As you see, the hole is now open. And I'm going to get a syringe and I'm going to take the top off, this is it, and I'm going to stick it right in here. Okay, now I'm going to take this top off. This actually uh, also works as a flame, um, flame protection. Uh, if I get a flashback and uh, it goes into s inside this bubbler, what's going to happen is this is just going to come off. Um, since it's, it's uh, really good, uh, it's really tight and, well, it works. I'm sorry about my English, I'm, I'm from Portugal, so I'm doing the best I can here. Now, what you're going to do is you get your lye, you get your electrolyzer, and you put it in here. And then you get the part from the syringe, the one you took off because you don't need it. You put it in here and the only thing you have to do is press down until the water comes out here. You see? There's water here. Okay, now you know that since this is um, individually uh, feed the water is individually fed inside the cell. You know that when you have water here, um, this cell, the cell that corresponds to this hole, is full. So the only thing you have to do next is you cover this up because you really don't want lye hanging around in your home and take it off. After that, just put the, the cap back on that's it and you do it for each and every one of them they're six so it's not really that difficult and this is it also if you want to um, take all the water imagine you want to change the concentration of the electrolyte the only thing you do is you take the caps off and um, you take the water from the reservoir and you press air into it um, with the cell turned upside down so all the water is going to come out from these holes I am going to uh, try and, and build another manifold that stands a little bit higher than this one and um, induces all the, the cells with water. I'm still not sure how I'm going to do that and if it's going to work, but I, I think it will. So that you don't have to have this uh, trouble of once in a week or uh, once in a month fill up and, and check the, um, the cell for water. Um, you can eventually put a reservoir and, and it will feed like a normal cell. I still don't know if there's going to be any current leakage in that case since they, were all, they will all be connected through the manifold and the manifold is going to be full of water and I don't know if uh, we'll lose some efficiency on that but I'll try it and I'll let you know how it works. Uh, by the way, this is just a small cell for my motorcycle and it's working pretty good. I am doing the conditioning right now. I'm just uh, working it at 1 amp, uh, 12 volts and 
as soon as I, as I have some more numbers uh, about the efficiency of the cell. Oh, I forgot. Don't. This this was stupid. Uh, I forgot to take that out. Well, it, it's better to put the one that actually. Uh, well, even if that happens, nothing wrong with it. It's just spells it out. Anyway, you can see the pressure that it's built up inside the the cell. And this is it. This is basically it. This is just what I wanted to show you how to uh, refill this type of cell. It's really easy. Um, this foam right here, this foam only comes out when uh, you fill, you refill the cell. I don't actually know what it is and why does that happen, uh, but it only happens when you refill the cell with new electrolyzer. After a couple of hours of running, the foam goes away, everything back to normal. So this is it. This is a refuger signing out from Portugal. Hope you're having fun with your HHO. Hope we can prove those freaking naysayers that we are right and they are wrong. And we don't care. We don't even care what they think. But um, it would be good if everyone agreed that in fact this technology can help us and, and can save a lot of gas. For me, uh, it's more about saving a lot of money actually. But but still, that's that's what it's all about. Uh, I spent about I don't know 30 euros, about 40 US dollars in materials for this. So it's not like I'm gonna lose um, money. I'm if anything, I'm gonna get it back in experience and, and knowledge. So this is it. Thanks for watching, Refuger Portugal signing out.